My name is Karima Holmes. I am the director for the Office of Unified Communications. I'm here in Washington, D.C., the only 911 center for the district and the capital. We're here 24-7, 365 days a year. We are the lifeline. During COVID, both our 911 and 311 was um, changed, and we were able to adapt to this change quickly. On the 911 side, they were responsible for asking more questions about what space our responders were going into for two reasons. One reason is to assess the caller, the patient, and then the other reason is to protect our first responders. I think 911 is very unique and we have a responsibility, the caller, our responders, anyone in the vicinity, and so we have to measure all those things while we're on the phone with, you know, maybe a screaming mother or someone who was recently in an accident and they're they're a little shaken up. What we found is actually during COVID, our 911 calls came down, the 301 calls grew because it was more of information and testing and questions about this and what are the symptoms. And our mayor was able to plug in the use of 311 during those times. The resources that were set up with DC Health, with our Department of Human Services, um, our mayor's office setting up whether it was testing sites or nurses or anyone that was responsible for giving tests or getting your test results. Instead of throwing out all these different numbers, we were able to say call 311. We're using FirstNet. Uh, initially, we deployed it for all our uh, essential staff uh, that have uh, take home cell phones, mobile devices, some wi fis um, Now we're expanding it into supporting COVID-19 telework that we've set up for our 311 teams, as well as part of the 911 uh, telephone reporting unit. When First Standard was available, we partner up with Octo, our Chief Technology Office, our Homeland Security Emergency, Emergency Management Office, to work on testing it out in large events, crowded spaces, uh, uh, and events where we're, there are large gatherings of folks and uh, places and times where we had issues getting through uh, commercial networks. Um, and I believe we were able to do some really good testing and validate the capabilities, uh, which also helped in making some of the decisions we did to start rolling, rolling our first net. We have a staff of about 73 call takers and six management staff and because our operations provides a one-stop service experience for the District of Columbia's constituents, residents, and visitors, since COVID and the phase reopening of the district, we've seen some Mondays and Tuesdays at 10,000 and 11,000 calls. And so we quickly stood up a three new service requests that were COVID related for tracking COVID calls, for also providing helping residents to obtain quarantine resources uh, if they were in their home and they weren't able to get out to get groceries or food supplies uh, to notify the government that we need to try to get these services to those residents in need. The telephone recording unit is a division within the 911 operations. Personnel in that division handle non-emergency police reports over the telephone, such as damage to property, thefts, lost property, and incidents that do not require any additional investigation on the police side. In addition, we have nine employees teleworking using FirstNet. We handle approximately 1.5 million calls a year. We staff up to approximately 21 call takers. Since COVID, they have been tasked with asking additional questions during the call to screen out any COVID-related calls. So for example, a caller calls in to report um, shortness of breath. That is a symptom of COVID. So the call takers are required to ask additional questions. And if they identify that call as a COVID-related call, then there is a notate the um, call slip to indicate PTE advice. And then that information is relayed by the dispatchers vocally to our first responders so that they assess the scene with their personal protective equipment.